Good day my friends, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the birds. You might see them flying every day in the sky. They're too big to be insects and we love to hear them sing. What could they be? Well, they are birds. Even your pet duck is a bird. So let's find out what makes an animal a bird. The main thing to classify birds from other animals is their feathers. Other animals don't have feathers. Some might have wings, but if they don't have feathers, then they are definitely not birds. And to clarify, having wings doesn't make you a bird. Birds also have hollow bones. That means their bones have spaces inside them. Birds are also similar to reptiles since they also lay eggs for their babies, but they are warm-blooded like mammals. Now for a fun fact, did you know that hummingbirds can fly backwards? Not only backwards, but they can fly in all sorts of directions. It must be because of their sharp feathers. They're amazing, but sadly, they can't walk. Speaking of feathers, what are feathers? Feathers are made of keratin, an abundant kind of protein. Our fingernails are also made of keratin. At the center of the feather is a hollow shaft called the rachis or rachis. Attached to this shaft are the thin branches called barbs. Then they are connected to even smaller branches called barbules. These parts of the feather are one of the reasons they fly lightly and beautifully. Did you know that the wandering albatross has the biggest wingspan of all the birds? It is so big that they could just hide one, one of its wings. Feathers are also important to birds because they keep them warm and they could also provide camouflage. Keep in mind that camouflage is a way for animals to blend in with their surroundings. That means they become invisible and, and hide from predators. Yeah. Humans can now fly thanks to machines, but what about birds? How do they fly? Birds fly by flapping their wings and that creates air pressure under the wings that lifts them up just like airplanes do. In fact, airplanes are designed based on some birds. Have you noticed that airplanes and birds almost have the same shape? One of the fastest birds are peregrine falcons. It can reach speeds of well over 100 miles per hour. They're like a small jet plane. Hollow bones also help in flying, even higher because they are lighter compared to solid bones. Besides flapping, there are other techniques birds use to fly. They can stretch out their wings and glide slowly down towards the ground without flapping. Ducks often glide down to land in water, but unfortunately, not all birds can fly. Some birds that don't fly are penguins, kiwis, and ostriches. However, even though they cannot fly, they are masters in their own field. Penguins are actually the best bird swimmers and then they live in the North Pole where it is very cold. On the other hand, ostriches are very fast runners in land. They can even outrun a horse. Outstanding. Now did you know that most of the birds cannot see glasses? They just bump into glass thinking it's clear air. Yeah, poor birds. What are some types of birds? There are lots of kinds of birds. Each kind also depends on where they live and what they eat. Some birds feed on plants, some birds eat insects, and still others eat other animals like fish, snakes, or rodents. One of the best hunters in the birds are the eagles. They just glide high in the sky while looking for some mice to eat. They are far-sighted that they can see a single mouse in a big field. That's why some call you eagle-sighted if you have sharp eyes. Hummingbirds are one of the smallest birds and they also suck nectar from flowers, like what bees do. That's why they have long and thin beaks. Because birds have different shaped beaks, they can eat different kinds of foods. Pelicans have very big beaks that can carry a number of fishes in them. Birds can also build different kinds of nests in different kinds of places with different kinds of materials. Some birds just drill a hole out of a tree, like the woodpecker. They must have a really hard beak for all those drilling. Birds are also known for their massive migration patterns. 
meaning birds have their seasonal movement from one place to another. Some birds will travel along distances each season to stay in a climate that is good for their survival, while ducks are often seen flying together in migration. We can see birds that are sometimes kept as pets. Parrots are one of them since they are so colorful. And what's more amazing is that, that they can talk. They imitate or copy what they hear most of the time. Some birds can be trained to help humans. Homing pigeons can carry messages to far places. And falcons are trained to hunt. This must be one of the most talented and amazing birds. So learners, now we've learned about some of the amazing facts about birds and how they fit into this world. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.